Okay guys, I found this tricked out modified Camaro sitting here. I believe this is a 91 or 92. It could be up to 95 model. I'm not sure. But as we go around here and look at it, it's very, very nice. It stands out with this beautiful blue and blue fire on the paint up there. So yeah, somebody took the time to do that. And I think this is beautiful with this uh, cow hood on there and uh, these rims are really nice these chevy chrome rims on there and if you look a little closer you're looking at that brake system up front you know everything matches up really well with this so it all stands out that's why i came over here and looked at it and for you t-top fans you see on top of there is t-top so you can remove the top and enjoy the open summer air and enjoy yourself wherever you are you know going to the beach, going out in the city, going wherever, you know. And this thing here is pretty clean going around. But I don't think this is a SS, but I do know. Oh, look at here. Walked into something I didn't see. Look, it has the off and on switch for the engine. So this, somebody was drag racing this car and they were having fun with it. Well, that's something you don't always see because that ain't on a standard car. Somebody had been drag racing with this thing, you know. And that's pretty cool. So evidently they done tuned this thing down for it to be street purpose. But that means you could build it right back up. And there was a sign back here in this window. Let's see what it says here. Look at, there you go, lock and loaded racing. So I'm sure if you look them up on the uh, internet, you could find them, you'll probably find this car and you can see what they've been doing with it. You know, this thing here is a former race car and it's still beautiful. That's the thing about it, it's still beautiful. And you could take this car and you could have fun with it as is, or you could take it and put it back out on track, depending on what they did to it. So as I look at a little bit more closer to this body, and we're gonna look around here, and look, this body is still in great shape, guys. So I don't think they had any wrecks with this thing. I think they were just driving the heck out of it on the um, drag strip till they got tired of it and moved on to something else, you know? Or they just wanted to get money out of it and sold it and, you know, it found its way here. But let's look in on the um, passenger side and you see the seat right there. And this seat looks nice and clean. And look at here, you got a roll cage in here. You have a roll cage. So yeah, they have been drag racing this thing. And you know, the only way you get a roll cage in a car is when they said when you hit 9.99 seconds, so this thing had to be just below a 10 second car. So I don't know what all they had in it, but I know one thing, but it had T-tops and a roll cage. Yeah, this thing is bad. This is a nice find and the dashboard is clean, guys. Coming off this passenger side is real clean. And look at that shifter right there. See that professional shifter down there? Yeah, so they were drag racing this car. Let's look at the, pad, look, at the driver's side. Hey guys, this Camaro is nice. I found this fire extinguisher back here. So you know, yeah, whatever they were doing, they needed the fire extinguisher as it was hooked up to this uh, roll cage in here. But as we take a little closer look, we'll see that over here on the side, there's a few buttons and a red button right there. So I don't know if they had NAS hooked up to this thing or what. But with the gauges showing everything, we take another look a little closer. You see it says about 160 on the dash on the speedometer. And you hit all this other little gauge and gadgets over here. So evidently they hooked this car up for racing, true enough. But I don't know what all they had in here. But whoever buys this car is gonna find that they're gonna have a lot of little neat stuff to look up on and to look at that to be able to enjoy this car either as is or take it back to the, you know, as they do take it back to the strip, this car would be something that has already had experience on a drag strip and you just gotta know how to hook it up so you can hook and book. Yeah, this is a nice find here, Gateway Classic Cars with this Camaro. This thing has a lot of nice stuff to it. And I don't think it's something to be looked over and laughed at guys. Whoever wants it, and you need to find out a price on it, is sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars in Crete, Illinois. 
And I'm going to tell you something. This car here was a really nice find. All right, guys. Chevy Camaro.